here we use a generative modeling approach. We'll first design a generative model such that we can generate the network using this model. And next we'll ask the question, given the network, how do we find the best model? And if we find it, then we basically also discover the communities. So in the first part, the goal is to define a model for generating networks. And the model will have a set of parameters that we will later want to estimate to detect the community. So the question here is that given a set of nodes and their community memberships, how do communities actually generate the edges of the networks? And here, the nodes and the community membership, they all correspond to the subset of the parameters here. And one idea is to use the affiliation graph model. And in this model, we have several parameters. The first subset of the parameters is basically the set of nodes here. And we also have the community, basically the set of communities. And in here, um, we have two communities. And for each community, we have a probability P uh, P A and P B. So basically for community A, we have P A and this P A is the probability that uh, if two nodes belong to um, community A, what is the probability that these two nodes will have an edge? And we have also another set of parameters that's called membership. So these parameters basically define which nodes belongs to which community. So to summarize, in this affiliation graph model, we have these following parameters. We have the set of nodes B, we have the set of communities C, and we also have the memberships M. And each community A will have a single probability. So this is a scalar value and has this probability as PA. And given these parameters, we can then generate the whole network according to this generative process. So we already know that for each pair of nodes in community A, we can connect them independently with probability PA, right? So what if you have two communities? How do you generate, how do you generate the edge between let's say node U and node B? So basically the overall edge probability of a pair of nodes U and B would be just uh, one minus the product of one minus PC. And here C actually indexes the set of common communities of node U and node B. So basically, for example, if, if two nodes share a set of communities, then then C will be used to index these set of communities. Basically in here, M, U uh, denotes the set of communities that node U belongs to. And why do we have this equation? This is because this one minus PC is actually the probability that a community C does not generate the edge between U and B. So basically the product of all these one minus PT will be just the probability that none of the communities will generate an edge between U and B. And why one minus this product will be the probability that at least one of the communities will generate an edge between U and B. So this is how we compute the overall edge probability between a pair of nodes. And of course, we have a small corner case here. If node U and V share no communities, and we set their probability uh, of an edge to be epsilon. So given these parameters, you can see that we can just generate the edges one by one. So basically in this way, Given any model, any affiliation graph model, we will be able to generate a network according to this model. And one interesting thing 
is that is a Gaussian graph model or AGM can express a variety of community structures. It can, for example, it can represent non-overlapping communities. The key is just to set these membership parameters such that these three nodes belong to community A and these three nodes only belong to community B. And of course, it can also represent uh, overlapping communities and even nested communities. Again, the key here is to set the membership parameters. For example, in this nested case, we only need to first set all the nodes such that these all the nodes will belong to community B. And at the same time, we set part of the nodes to belong to community A and, the, and some other part of the nodes to belong to community C. Uh, 